For the London Design Festival 2016, AHEC have partnered with Alison Brooks Architects and Arup to create The Smile. An extraordinary American tulip wood structure displayed on the parade ground at Chelsea College of Art and Design, which showcases the potential of cross laminated hardwood on a large scale for the very first time. CLT is this clever way of making huge panels from small trees, but nobody has ever tried to do a hardwood CLT panel of this size and scale before. And the Smile is by far the most complex project which has ever been built in CLT. So working with Alison um, designing this, we found an incredibly exciting process. We've designed a pavilion that takes the form of an arc. So it's actually a really athletic structure. It's doing something that I think hasn't been done before. It's based on a 50 meter radius. It's 34 meters long and it's actually a two-way cantilever. We are Zübel Timber and we are based in Bavaria, in the southern part of Germany. At the moment we are manufacturing the CLT panels. The first step in uh, producing CLT is to have uh, endless boards which are cut in the lengths we need. The method uh, we use to produce an endless board is called finger jointing. After the finger jointing the boards are glued crosswise. For the SMILE project, we produce panels in a dimension of 14 meters in the length and 4.4 meters in the width. So the panels are extra wide and extra long. One special case here in our company is that we produce cross-laminated timber by using vacuum presses. And the pressure of a vacuum press is 800 kilograms per square meter. For the CNC machining, we have an 8-axis robot by machining them to one millimeter tolerance. It means that when you bring things like the smile to sight, they fit together absolutely perfectly. One of the things that's made timber construction a lot cheaper is these long self-tapping screws. These are about three or 400 millimeters long. And so that is how we connect the CLT panels of the smile together. And it's because those screws are going into tulip woods that those screws are 20 or 30% stronger than they would be if we were fixing into spruce. It was really only by using the tulip woods that we were actually able to get something which was strong enough to carry those stresses really above and below the door to stop those cantilevers snapping off. We're looking at up to 10 tonnes of force from the wind, trying to make the whole cross-section lozenge. So all the forces from the people, 60 people at one end, all the force from the wind trying to blow it over, all is getting concentrated on this tiny little area where it meets the ground. That's part of the, uh, of the engineering challenges that went into this. We had the idea of introducing holes into the sides where there are the least stresses acting in the CLT. So it's a kind of graphic way of illustrating what's happening to the material itself as a structural element. The smile is definitely pushing boundaries in the use of CLT and going to break new ground in terms of what timber can do. It's really thrilling to see the public interact with the finished structure, but also, more importantly, is using the data and the experience and the knowledge gained in this project to feed into commercial use of hardwood CLT in the future, and that's the real legacy of the smile.